this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to find the determinants of 3 times 3 matrix. At first, I will show you the manual way how to find the determinants of this matrix. And then I will teach you also the calculator way, mean how to use the calculator to find the determinant of A here. Okay, but before we start, you kind of need to know um, each element here have their own position name. So the position name is basically is something like um, A, I, and J. Okay, the I will be the number of row and J will be the number of column. So over here, we call I will equals to 1 because it's the first row. Over here, I will equals to 2 because it's the second row. This one, I will equals to 3 because it will be third row. Alright, then this is column. So over here, the first column we call J will equals to 1. And then this one, J will equals to 2. And this one is the third column. So J will equals to 3. So because by understanding this one, then I know that A actually, I can label each of the elements with their own position name. So the first one, let's say I call it as A. So I write the I first, then only J. So this one is called 1. You can see 1, 1. So it's 1, 1. So the next one is first row, second column, A, 1, 2. Then this one is first row, third column, A, 1, 3, and so on. So then this one will be A, second row, 2, 1, A, 2, 2, A, 2, 3. And then this one will be A, and then third row will be 3, 1. Okay? And then A, 3, 2, and A, 3, 3. Okay, why so important to to know their position name is because you need to use it to find the cofactor of each of the element here. Alright, so over here, if you want to find the determinant of A, you have three choices. You can choose to use the first row to find, second row to find, or third row to find. Alright, but I want to make this video simple. Let's try to use the first row to find the determinant. Alright, if I want to use the first row, right, okay, I will start with the number one here. So if I choose one, basically it means I need to eliminate whatever value for first row and first column. So you realize I only left about 2, 1, 4, 2. This one we call minor here. Alright, so this one will be my minor. Okay, so if you get the idea, then what I want to do is first is I want to write negative 1 first. And then the power will be the position number here, which is 1, 1. So it's like 1 plus 1. And then next is I need to copy down this 1 over here. This is how we find a cofactor for uh, elements of 1 here. And then over here, I need to multiply my minor. Just now I show you, right, if I eliminate first row and first column, this one is my minor value, isn't it? So if you understand this one, my minor will be 2, 1, 4, 2. Okay, then I'm done for uh, first element. Because I say first row, right, I need to use the first element. This is a cofactor of, cofactor of first element. And then I need to plus the cofactor of second element, I need to plus the cofactor of third element. Alright, then you see what going on here. So plus is negative 1 also. And then I need to know at this element 2 here, the position number is 1 and 2 in it. So it will be 1 plus 2. Because the formula is i plus z here. And then I need to copy uh, this number. So number 2 here. Then I multiply a 2 here. And then I need to write it's minor. So you just imagine, I cancel this row and this column. Uh, my minor will be 3, 5, 1, 2, isn't it? Okay, so if you get it, it will be 3, 5, 1, 2. Okay, then I do the same thing for the last element here, which is 4. Okay, so I need to plus, okay, I write at the bottom, negative 1. And then I see the position number for uh, elements of 4, which is 1 plus 3, 1 plus 3. And then I copy the number 4 here. You just imagine if I cancel this row and this column. Okay, so I will have 3, 2, 5, 4, isn't it? So I will have 3, 2, 5, 4. All right, then I just need to plus 3 of the number, then I can easily uh, get the answer. Though, so this one is negative 1 power of 2. So which is positive 1, and then I can ignore it. This is positive 1 as well, I can ignore it. And this one, if you learn about uh, how we find the determinants of 
2 multiply 2 matrix. You know this one is AD minus BC, isn't it? So it'll be 2 times 2, which is 4, minus BC, minus 4. Okay, plus, this is negative 1 power of 3, so I will still get a negative 1. Multiply 2 is negative 2. And then I will multiply with AD minus BC, which is 6 minus 5. And then I will plus negative 1 power of 4, so it's positive 1. I can ignore it. So I get 4. And then this one is AD, which will be 12 minus BC. BC will be 10 here. All right, then what I want to do next is I will just solve this number easily, which is 0. I can just write 0 plus or minus. So this is like negative 2. Uh, multiply 1, so it's just minus 2. Plus, over here is 2, multiply 4 is 8. So 8 minus 2, I will get 6. So this one will be my determinants of the 3 times 3 matrix. Right, it's not really hard if you get the idea how to do it. Okay, but what if you want to use a calculator, right? How can we get the answer of 6 here? Okay, so what you need to do is you go into the menu and then you choose number four, which is you should be able to see a matrix here, number four. And then I will define, you can choose A, B, C, D to do, but over here I just choose the matrix A, number one. And then they ask about your row and column. So we know this is three multiply three, isn't it? So I type three row, three column. So I type three for both. And then I just insert my number, one, two, four, three, two, 1, 5, 4, and 2. Okay, after I type every single element here, then what I want to do is I go into the option, and then I go to number 3, which is the metric calculation, number 3. And then over here, I type the option again. Okay, I ask the calculator to find the uh, determinant. I will go down. You should be able to see determinant, which is number 2. I type number 2 here. And then the calculator wants to ask you uh, which determinant you want here. So I will go to the option. I want determinant of metric A, which is number 3 here. Okay, then we'll close the bracket. I type enter. The calculator should be able to straight away tell me the determinants of metric A will be 6. All right. So if you get the idea, actually, you will find that this casual calculator is very useful to solve this kind of complicated uh, question not to say really complicated but if you do manually you will see there's a lot of work you need to do but yeah we always good to have a calculator to help us to check whether our answer is correct or wrong all right anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you guys in the next video